Good morning everyone, Paul Kelly here on Ngunnawal and Ngambri country here in Canberra. I'm joined by my trusty Auslan interpreter, Ramos, thank you. Um, so we're here uh, to talk about an Omicron update. I've learnt this morning from Ramos the, the sign for Omicron, so I will try to do it. I think that's right, yeah, got it. Um, so uh, Omicron is still um, uh, causing us concern. It's a variant of concern, as we've talked about before, by the World Health Organization, and it is spreading very quickly all around the world. We're learning more about Omicron every day. We know that it is transmissible. Uh, we know that it is here in Australia. Uh, we've had some good news overnight that the severity of Omicron um, still appears to be relatively mild in most circumstances, but we need to have further information on that over the coming week and we'll share that when that comes. But today I really want to talk about the importance of the booster program. So we've, we've had an amazing success here in Australia looking at the numbers of people that have come forward and been fully vaccinated um, either with Pfizer, AstraZeneca or the Moderna vaccine. Um, that's been a terrific effort by all Australians. Unfortunately with this new variant, Omicron, uh, the two-dose vaccine schedule is not as uh, effective as it was against previous strains of the virus, such as Delta. Um, so that really reinforces the, the need uh, to have a booster shot. So when I say it was, it's not as, uh, as protective, what do I mean? The, there are two protections we get from vaccination. One is, of course, our own protection for ourselves against severe disease. Um, and that actually does uh, continue. Uh, we've got good evidence now that with two doses of Pfizer um, in particular, but also the other, um, the other vaccines, um, that does retain some protection against severe disease. Unfortunately though, that protection, that other protection that vaccine gives about becoming infected and infecting others, that transmission effect, is less effective uh, against the Omicron variant than previous types of the virus. Um, so it's really important not only for your own personal protection, which is boosted by the booster, uh, but also for protection of others about that transmission effect um, to get that booster when you are due for that. So in recent days, two important uh, changes to that program. Uh, the first one is you can now get a booster with Moderna or Pfizer, which opens up that possibility to anywhere vaccines are available, whether that's a pharmacy, a GP surgery, uh, an Aboriginal co community controlled um, clinic, other points of presence, as well as the state and territory uh, clinics around Australia. All of those places are now giving booster shots. And we're seeing people come forward very, very quickly. Last week we, were had, we had about 25,000 boosters a day. On Monday it was 75,000. Yesterday it was 96,000. So there's certainly a large increase in people coming forward. So my main message today, if you have had uh, your second dose um, five or more months ago, you are now due for a booster. Make that appointment today. Um, and so please take that seriously. It's a way of protecting you. Uh, it's a way of protecting those around you, your family and the wider community. Booster shots are absolutely important and very important at controlling this Omicron issue. So thanks very much for listening. Thanks, Ramos. We'll see you next time.